Hey friends, how are you today? I'm so excited because today we are going to do a little project where we draw a black capped chickadee. And um, we're going to do a little extra special thing here and put a little um, paper fastener on his wings so that you could make his wing flap if you want. Now before you listen to the directions on how to draw this black cap chickadee, I'd like you to watch a PowerPoint that I made that gives you some fun and interesting facts about black cap chickadees. Uh, I chose this bird to make because they're all around and if you listen to the end of the video, I even have a little um, clip of what their call sounds like. So after you're finished drawing them and you know what they look like, you could go outside and listen and see if you could find one in your yard by hearing the distinct call that they have. Okay, so let's get started. Before we do this though, go back and watch the PowerPoint about black cap chickadees. And when you're finished watching it, come on back to this video. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that PowerPoint about black cap chickadees and found some interesting facts in there and listened for the sounds that black cap chickadees make. So for this project, you are just gonna need a piece of copy paper. You'll actually need a little extra piece of copy paper and a paper fastener if you want to make the wing move. If you don't want to make the wing move, you won't need the paper fastener or the extra piece of paper, okay? All right, um, you'll need a pencil and some scissors if you're going to cut your wing. And then when we're finished, you can decide how you want to color, okay? All right, so let's get started making our black cap chickadee. So the first thing you're going to do is fold your paper. You know, we always do this when I'm talking to you about how to draw something so you have some reference points when I tell you where to put your dots and your lines, okay? So open up your paper, and we're going to have our paper going um, the tall way, okay? So we're going to have our paper going vertically. Okay, so get your pencil. You have your paper folded, and you know, of course, that any time, if, if I'm going a little bit too quickly, you can always pause the video so that you can catch up. All right, so your paper is going um, vertically. You have your pencil, and we're ready to start. So let's look at this fold line right here. We're gonna go in about three fingers and put a little dot. Okay, so you can see my dot right there. Now we're gonna go to the top fold, and I'm gonna start with one finger up at the top and one finger in the middle. I'm just gonna kind of meet in the middle of that spot and then I wanna go just a little further down and make another dot. So this dot is just a little further down than halfway. And this one was about three fingers over, okay? All right, so what we're going to do here is we are gonna draw a curved line to connect those dots. And remember how I always tell you to practice a little bit just to make sure you get the line that you like. And you can see that my pencil's making some really light lines there. So that will help me and I know that I would like to connect that, those two dots with a line that curves like that. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to connect these two lines. We're gonna work on making the head of the chickadee. Okay, so let me just show you what we're doing. We're gonna draw this line now. So it's kind of a big curve. Let me put this chickadee back, and I'm gonna ghost draw it. Okay, so you can kind of see how my pencil is going. And then when I like the way it looks, I will draw it a little bit darker, okay? All right, so it kind of looks like a sideways gumdrop. Okay, so now we're gonna work on our chickadee's body. This is our chickadee's head. So let's go to the bottom fold here, okay? And we're gonna come up about halfway and put a little dot, okay? Then we're gonna go over to the fold on this side, on the right side, and we're gonna go about two fingers over and put a dot, okay? Now these dots are just a guideline to help us make that round little chickadee body. So let me show you what we're making right now. What we're making right now is this curved line that goes around like this, put the feather down, and comes up to the head. So 
and we're making the chickadee's body now. So again, this dot just tells me I need to come down here and head over here. Okay, so I'm going to practice it a little bit until I get it just the way I want. And then I'll draw the chickadee's body, okay? And if you're not liking the way your curves go, you can always change them. I feel like this is a little straight and I want my chickadee to have sort of a little bit of a tummy. So I'm just gonna curve that out and bring it around. Okay, the dots are just a guideline, okay? So there's my chickadee's body. Okay, so now I wanna think about how to draw the wing. Now the wing is going to come out from about halfway from the body and it's going to go down past the end of the body. Okay, So I'm going to take my finger and this is sort of where the head is. So I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to go, um, actually I'm not going to take my finger, I think I'll just go right about here, right about halfway. It's a little bit less than halfway. Okay, I think I'm going to that I'm, I'm really let's just go halfway that makes it easier okay so here's our our head and here's our curved line go about halfway down your curved line that's how big our wing is going to be and then our wing is going to go down here and it's going to do three little loops and come back up to the top okay so remember we can start by sort of doing a little very light. Let me just erase those ones I accidentally made there when I was showing you where it was going. We're gonna make a very light line. Do your three curves, okay? And then bring it back, okay? And it's gonna be, your feather is a little bit bigger than your body, so when you come over, you're gonna aim for this dot, but you're probably gonna go past the body. So I'm going to do a curved line past the body. I'm going to do three little scallop lines there and end up right there. So there's my wing. Now you can see the body through my wing, and we're going to talk about that. So if you want to cut out the wing and make it like mine that moves like this, okay, then you can just leave it exactly the way it is. If you are just going to color it, and your wing is gonna look just like that without that, then you are gonna to wanna to erase this body part right here, okay? So that's up to you. You have to decide. If you're gonna make your wing move, leave it just like this. If you are just going to color your bird and not have your wing move, then you need to erase this. All right, so let's go to the tail. So the tail is going to start, let's take a look. It's always good to look at your reference picture, okay? The tail starts a little ways past the wing, okay? And if you look at it, the tail is taller than the bird. The tail goes past the bird's head. So when we're making our tail, we need to go taller than the bird's head, okay? And when it comes down, it goes, and meets the body, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do is we'll start right about here and the tail just kind of goes straight up, okay? And remember, you can do your ghost drawing, okay? Make sure you like the way it turns out, okay? So I'm gonna draw up and do my curves and bring my tail down right there, okay? So I'm just gonna erase that extra little line there, okay? Okay, so there's my tail. All right, now the next thing I'm gonna do is I wanna do the cap for my chickadee, okay? So I'm actually going to go to the head because we're doing the black cap part and I'm gonna put a dot right here and a dot right here. That is gonna help me make this line for the cap, okay? I actually think Looking at my the one I drew, I probably want to make this line go there, that dot go a little bit further down. Okay, so let me make sure I'm clear on that. Here's our head. You want to go down about halfway on the head. Okay, and I think I'll move this one down too so it's across, across the street. Okay, all right. Now, when you make your cap, you can make a, a curved line that goes down like this, 
you can make a curved line that goes up like this, or you can sort of make one that goes straight across. Because we know that all birds are not the same, and so you can make yours look the way that you want. I am going to do a curved line that looks like that. All right, now the chickadee's eye is sort of right where that black cap is, okay? So I'm gonna actually make most of the chickadee's eye above the black cap and some of it below the black cap. Now, birds' eyes don't have the color, the white around that we do, you won't see that. So um, the, you will see a highlight though, where the light is shining and reflected on, on um, off of your bird's eye. So make a little circle. Let me make sure you can see that. See that little circle right here? That's gonna be your highlight. So don't color that part in. Right now you can color the rest of your eye with your pencil because you can go over this with your Sharpie later, okay? So and there's our chickadee's eye. And she's looking at you, or he's looking at you. Okay, now let's make the beak. So go down to where the cap is Okay, and we're gonna sort of make a curved line like that. Okay, that's the, the inside of the beak. And then make another curved line. Chickadees have kind of little beaks, so we're not gonna make a giant beak. And then this line is a little bit curved up like that. Okay, so you have a back curve and then a curve that goes down like this and this curve goes up like this. Now you can erase that stuff that's in the middle there and draw your line, okay? So now we have our, our chickadee. And I'm just gonna erase what's on the beak there just so you can see where we're going, okay? All right, now it's time to make that cute little bib on the chickadee. And here's another place that you can you you know just make it however you want. You could just make a big bib like this, okay? You could make a littler bib like this just depends on how you want to do it. You can make it squiggly, you can make it round, however you want to do it, okay? I think I'm gonna just make mine look sort of like that. That looks good to me, okay? All right, so our chickadee is almost finished with the drawing part. We just need to give them some legs. So we're just gonna, and we're not gonna just draw a line like that because that line wouldn't support that chickadee. So we need to give our line some width there. So just draw two lines and just some pointy little claws there and go on the other side of the fold and draw your other one okay all right so and if you want you can give your chickadee a little horizon line so you can draw the grass down here and the sky up here that's up to you okay okay so let's talk about what you're going to do now if you are making the wing that's like mine that moves, okay, if you're making this wing that moves, you need to do this. Take your paper, place it on here, and trace your wing. So I'm going to go over my wing to make it a little bit darker so that you can see through my paper. You don't have to do this unless you can't see your wing. If you can't see it through the paper, you might have to darken it a little bit, okay? All right, so there's my wing. I think you can see that it comes right through the paper. So I'm just going to trace it. On my paper like that. Okay, so this is gonna be my wing. So now I'm going to erase this outline because otherwise it would still be there. And then when I flap my wing, it would look like I have two wings, okay? So if you are doing this, you need to erase your wing. If you decided you are just going to color yours, then you need to erase all of the lines that are inside the wing, okay? Because the wing is on top of your bird. All right, so let's add a few finishing touches. Let's give this tail some feathers. And we'll give our wing some feathers just by drawing some lines there. Okay, and not really happy with that, so I'll just fix it up, okay? Might have to fix this line, okay? So when you're done, if you don't like the way something looks, just fix it up. Okay, so now you need to decide, are you gonna color your chickadee right on this paper, which you totally can? 
if you want to transfer it onto a paper that doesn't have erase marks and that doesn't have the fold, then you know you need to turn it over and color on the back where all of your pencil lines are. And remember we did this when we made the giraffe and we've done this lots of other times. So I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but I'll just show you, remind you of what to do. You do have to make sure that you color over with pencil all of the lines or else when you go to trace it on another piece of paper, they won't show up. So you can like look out the window or something and make sure you've got everything covered. Okay, then put your paper on a clean sheet. But still, I'm just using copy paper because I use colored this with crayon. And then you will just, with your pencil, carefully trace your chickadee. I'm just gonna lift up the corner to make sure it's working. Okay, it's working. And I'll just finish tracing his head. I won't trace the whole thing. Okay. Okay, so there's my chickadee's body and I can just over that with my pencil and then I don't have to oh <laughs> look at that funny eye then I don't have to worry about having the fold lines if you don't care about having the fold lines you can just color the one that you made originally okay all right so if you are doing the wing that flaps you need to put your feather lines in cut it out and color it okay now, what I did to color my chickadee was I outlined everything with a Sharpie and then just colored it with crayons. Um, you can color it with markers if you want. Um, you could paint it if you want. However you want to finish your chickadee is fine. I do want to show you a little trick that I did on the wings though. So when I colored the wing, you can, I was using crayons, and you can use your crayons to blend a little bit too. It doesn't have to be just pencils that you use to blend. So, okay, so let's pretend that I have, well, we won't pretend we're actually going to do it. I've outlined, you want to outline it before you start coloring because once you've outlined it, if you missed any pencil lines when you were outlining, you can just go ahead and erase them. So that was super quick. So I missed a couple of lines here so I can just erase my extra pencil lines. So after you have traced your chicky, make sure you erase your pencil lines. Okay, so there's a couple things you can do. If you notice on the wing, I made it a little bit darker here, a little bit lighter in the middle, okay, a little bit darker here. You can do that by just coloring a very light layer of black crayon. Okay, it's okay if I go out of the line, right? I'm gonna cut it out anyways. And then you can layer a different color on top of that. So now I have some gray going over the top of my black. And then I'm gonna use my white crayon to kind of blend it together. Okay. And then if I would like to shade it some more, cause I can see that's a little bit funny right there. I can just take my black crayon and I wanted to shade it just sort of right where the feathers meet. So I wanted that just to be a little bit darker. So I can do that and maybe towards the bottom where it's closer to the bird, I want it a little darker. So I can just go like that and then take my white crayon and go over that again. And you can see how that kind of blends it together. Okay, so that's just a little trick you can use. Okay, so we have drawn our chickadee you know that once you've drawn it, if you don't want the wing that moves, then you keep your wing on your drawing and add some feathers and then you're good to go to color it. Um, I would outline it with a Sharpie and then color it with crayons. That, that way you don't see your pencil marks. Um, if you were going to make the moving wing, you trace it, you cut it out and you pop it on with um, a paper fastener and then your bird wing can move, okay? 
If you want, well, you probably will want to add a little bit of background. So I just put my bird standing in the grass with a very light blue background. If you wanted, you could give your bird a worm or, you know, add something, some other details down there. That is totally up to you. All right, friends, I hope you had a good time drawing this chickadee and learning a little bit about black cap chickadees and what they sound like when they are um, chattering to each other. And I miss you, friends, and hope to see you soon. Bye.